covering the villages for you. TK Cross and the VNN News Team. On today's Lifestyle Show, Camp Villagers got a chance to reach for the stars. And in our Love My Ride segment, we'll show you an F-150 from 1950. Hi there, and thanks for joining us. As Camp Villages gets ready to wrap up another great summer, the grandkids got a visit from the Villages Astronomy Club and some hands-on lessons about our solar system. As nearby springs attract hordes of visitors, you're encouraged to practice responsible habits to ensure the spring's health. And they are a vital part of the local ecology. In fact, just outside the villages, there are several local springs close enough for the perfect day trip. Just to name a few, Rainbow Springs, Silver Springs, Salt Springs, and Devil's Den provide picturesque, cool, crystal clear waters surrounded by a backdrop of indigenous flora and fauna, all within an hour or two drive. And while the springs are fun places to swim, kayak, scuba, and snorkel, their very popularity poses a danger to their integrity. The springs are a window into the health of the groundwater, which is the source of 90% of drinking water for Floridians. And some springs support entire ecosystems with unique plants and animals. That, according to the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. Increased nutrients such as nitrates, potential decreases in historical flows, the presence of invasive aquatic vegetation, and recreation all pose a combined threat to springs. Humans play a vital role in protecting the springs and are encouraged to manage their activity. Some tips to heed when visiting the springs include staying in your vessel whenever possible, avoid climbing on banks, and don't trample vegetation or stir up silt when swimming. And a no-brainer here, don't litter or leave anything behind during your visit. To learn more about Florida's beautiful springs, visit watermatters.org forward slash springs. As tropical weather stirs off the coast of Florida, it is a good idea to remember we're entering the height of the season. We're getting you prepared just in case. And just be prepared. Have seven days worth of food and water. Have seven days worth of medicine. Because it's in Saldor and Hurricane Michael, everybody had three days worth of stuff and it ran out. So the state's recommending seven days now worth of uh, supplies. Even though we are in the villages, we have a, a very robust system of electricity, there's still a chance the power could go out. So by having a generator, that would help. Make sure from medicine, make sure water, food, etc. Make sure you have what you need to get by for those extra couple days after the storm. Maybe you lose power, uh, maybe you lose other utilities, just to make sure it's enough to get you by that you're safe and that you are able to protect your family as well as the loved ones that might be with you that you might be uh, looking after as well. Uh, and to make sure that just because the storm like, looks like it might be coming right at you, always pay attention to the local meteorologists, the National Weather Service, the National Hurricane Center. Keep it here on VNN and tune into our Hurricane Preparedness Special throughout the weekend. Up next, we'll show you that 1950 F-150 pickup truck and a group of villagers is headed overseas for a Taylor Swift performance. But first, a look at the weather in the villages for the next five days. Here's your VNN five day weather. From the WVLG Weather Center, this is Christopher James with your VNN five day forecast. 
Temperatures over the next few days are going to be in the low 90s. Starting on Sunday afternoon, tropical storm conditions are going to be in the area, so high likelihood of rain all day Sunday and on Monday. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. Summer savings are happening now at Cart World Golf Cars. Get bonus discounts up to $2,000 on in-stock 2024 gas, electric, or lithium-powered Onwood Series club cars. Two, four, and six passenger. Plus, choose from a variety of exciting finishes. Ask about our free Bluetooth stereo promotion available on select vehicles. Don't miss out on this huge savings. Cart World Golf Cars, award-winning authorized dealer for over 35 years. Conveniently located in Lady Lake on Highway 441-27, one block north of County Road 466. Drive a little, save a lot. When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. An air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. A clean that improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible, so call for a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. In our Thursday Love My Ride profile, videographer Mike Ford introduces us to Gary Davis and his 1950 Ford F-150 pickup truck. We have a 1950 Ford F-1 pickup truck. Uh, it's uh, almost all original, probably 90-95% original. I'm just the third owner. But I've always been captivated by the old trucks. And so I thought it'd be great to have an old truck to, take, to drive my grandkids around in. Well, it looked exactly like it does now from the outside, but boy, the inside, even though it ran, it was rough. Uh, we've had to do a lot to it. We've completely rebuilt the engine, carburetor, um, record the radiator, new emergency brake cables, new brake shoes, new brakes all the way around, new wiring harness. We had to rebuild the uh, steering box. Um, we, we were able to use a lot of the original parts. We were able to find a fair number of used parts. Um, but beyond that, we still had quite a few things that we had to buy reproduction parts or we had to rebuild what we had. Original suspension, though, we did put some new leaf springs on it. Still rides like it did when it was an old truck. <laughs> it probably rides about the same as it did when it came out of the factory in March of 1950. The original engine block had three cracks in it that were not repairable. So I found a, a matching engine block and we used as many of the old parts in the original engine as we could. Actually used a couple of parts out of the engine we bought, but the majority of the parts came from the original uh, engine. And it purrs like a kitten, she runs great. It's the original three-speed transmission, three-speed on the floor. Original steering wheel, it's like, like a Greyhound bus steering wheel, it's huge. Um, I don't like to go over about 50 miles an hour in it, it gets a little squirrely. Um, but I have had it up to 65 one time just to see how fast I could get it on a four-lane road. But I only did that once. It was like driving a, a Bentley after it compared what it was like when I first got it because it was a totally different truck. Though it's still pretty rough. It's, it's, you're not going to want to take it down to Orlando for the day and back. It's just too rough for that. Take it to cruise ins occasionally. Uh, car shows in the area. I've been extremely surprised at the reaction of people I get more compliments and more conversations going about this truck than I did the old truck. It's been absolutely amazing how people love to see something that's almost all original. And the other thing that really surprised me is how many women are attracted to the truck. I'd like to say it's me, but I'm too old and too fat and too short and out of shape to be attractive. So it must be the truck, and a lot of women come up and really like the truck. It's nostalgic, it reminds me of my granddad. Um, my dad passed away in 1984, so he didn't have a chance to enjoy 
later in life with, with me and my brother and our grandkids. But he was an old farm boy, and I think my dad would have just been drooling over this truck. And I can kind of visualize my dad sitting next to me and just cruising around and talking and hanging out. It's been a labor of love, and I've enjoyed it. But you know, you reach a point, it's time to pass it on to the next person that wants to love it and hopefully keeps it original. There is a club for everyone in the villages, and synchronized swimming is no exception. As the Aqua Rhythm swim team prepares for its annual show, the group is looking for some extra swimmers. The synchronized group will be performing a show themed on love and peace. Whether you are an experienced synchronized swimmer or a novice, the team provides training to get you acclimated. The Aqua Rhythms practice at 1 p.m. every Tuesday at Hacienda Recreation Sports Pool. If interested, give Coach Stacy a call at 505-506-2211. On one of their recent Martini Mondays, eight women here in the villages made it official. They were going to see Taylor Swift. They all wanted to experience the concert, but they wanted to look for the cheapest tickets anywhere in the world. One member of the group called everyone 30 minutes later and said, I found tickets and we're going to Warsaw, Poland. And better yet, one of the eight women, 75-year-old Margaret Barton, treated her seven friends to the entire trip flights, concert tickets, hotels, and more. The Swifties left the villages on July 29th and are set to return August 7th. After this short break, a dance club is looking for a few good zombies, we'll explain. But first, to keep facilities in the villages well-maintained, here are some temporary closures to help you plan your week. People used to replace their windows with vinyl, which didn't last. Now, vinyl is being replaced with something scientifically proven to withstand the test of time. Renewal by Anderson's Fibrex Material Windows. Fibrex Material is two times stronger than vinyl, beautiful and energy efficient. People love our windows and our exclusive signature service experience, not to mention these incredible savings. Don't miss out on the chance to get beautiful replacement windows at an affordable cost. Call or visit us online today. WVLG presents music that triggers thoughts of special times. Like the first time you visited the villages and were blown away by everything you experienced. Like all of the friends you met here in Florida's friendliest hometown. Like dancing at the squares, concerts at the Savannah Center, and shows at the Sharon. We are connecting those special times of your life with the music that you love. We're your village's soundtrack. WVLG. I'm Daria here with your Recreation Roundup. The next Sunset Social is a fun corn toss tournament. Try your hand at this popular activity on Monday, August 5th, 6 to 8 p.m. at Laurel Manor Recreation. Please see the district website for specifics. We look forward to seeing you there. As a friendly reminder, please always carry your original Village's ID or a guest ID with a photo ID. Only original copies of ID cards are accepted at the Recreation Centers. All rules and regulations posted in the recreation facilities should be followed at all times. Thrill the Villages is looking for a few good zombies, especially if you've got rhythm. 
For the past three years, the group Thrill the Villages has resurrected the dance made famous by Michael Jackson's Thriller video and thrilled audiences during the Halloween season. The group wants to expand their roster of zombie dancers for this year's upcoming performances. Because you can never have enough zombies, right? Says one zombie from the village of Sanibel, anyone can do it. You don't have to be a dancer. Just come to practice and have fun. Zombie dancers need to go to at least one of the three practice sessions each week. Rehearsals begin this Sunday and will run for two months with performances in October. The group will meet from noon to 1.45 p.m. Sundays at Eisenhower Recreation, from 12.30 to 2.15 p.m. Thursdays at Rohan Recreation, and from 6.30 to 8.15 p.m. Mondays at various recreation centers. A schedule is listed on the group's Facebook page and online at thrillthevillages.com. Coming up in August, artists can attend a week's worth of workshops with summer festival sessions. Local artists can make some new friends and pick up a few new ideas to enhance their craft thanks to the Village Art Workshops. The third annual Summer Festival takes place this Sunday, August 4th through August 8th at the Spruce Creek Professional Center in Summerfield and is geared toward beginner artists but welcomes all skill levels. Sessions will run from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. with a one-hour break for lunch, which is provided. This year's classes are focused on painting Florida's flora and fauna. Fees vary for the different classes and registration is required. Visit villageartworkshops.com or call Boyd at 804-536-1794. We'll be back with more from Florida's friendliest hometown. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. And now for the three-day VNN forecast presented by Frank Gay Services. Mostly sunny skies in the villages for the next few days. Friday's high 93, 93 on Saturday, 40% chance of showers in the afternoons. The number one cause of hearing aid failure, moisture, right? Especially here in Florida, right? Humidity, sweat, active lifestyles, moisture uh, can destroy a hearing aid. Um, there's some wonderful technology available here in our offices now where it takes just a few minutes. We put your hearing aids in this box, right? That heats them up a little bit and it evaporates moisture. We pull out a ton of liquid from these hearing aids. Uh, we've had people jump in their pool, uh, come in with a dead hearing aid and eight minutes later, it's working just fine. So I'd like to encourage folks uh, to take advantage of this service that we have exclusively at, at our offices um, for the hearing aid care. We also have a home unit uh, that, uh, let's say you travel and uh, you want to have that same technology, you can take it with you. This is VNN. The Enrichment Academy is offering a meet your local wildlife class with a special focus on birds. The Villages is home to so many unique and beautiful birds. During this class, instructors Jim Davis and Nancy Kolkeback will delve into the fascinating species of birds. Jim is a multi-county director for UF's IFAS Extension, and Nancy is a certified Florida Master Naturalist. The course is being held on Wednesday, August 14th from 1 to 3 p.m. at Lake Okahumka Recreation. The fee for residents is $15, and you can sign up at theenrichmentacademy.org. If you enjoy tennis but find the tennis balls too hard and the rackets too long, Touch Tennis was made for you. Touch tennis is played on a platform court with shorter rackets and softer balls. And although the scoring in touch tennis is similar to platform tennis and regular tennis, it is also less strenuous. 
Residents can play touch tennis at Everglades, Eisenhower, Seabreeze, Rohan and Clarendon Recreation Facilities with equipment available at each location. For more information, go to districtgov.org. Coming up, a look at your village's lifestyle, concerts, events and entertainment on the squares. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. It's the big one sales event at DeLuca Toyota in Ocala. Get up to $4,500 off new Toyota. Get zero down on every new Toyota in stock or choose no payments for 90 days. Drive the all-new 2025 Camry for only $219 per month. Drive a new Tundra for only $2.98 per month. That's a lot of truck for a little buck. With deals this big, it's got to be the big one. For 46 years, Toyota makes the car, the Luca makes the difference. Serving our community for over 49 years. Gold Key Roofing is number one for a reason. We are your local roofing contractor and we are here to stay. Gold Key Roofing, often imitated, never duplicated. Clap your hands and stop your feet. Time now for the Village's Entertainment Beat. I'm Natalie, here with your Entertainment Beat. Today we're looking at the stories and dance shows that we're excited to see on stage. Comedy Exit Laughing is performing on the studio stage through August 24th. And if you want to see that, don't forget to check out the studio's ninth season, Longing to Belong, featuring comedy The Vote, Drama When We Were Young and Unafraid, musical Pippin, and original sci-fi Qualia. Meet and greet the talented crew of Significant Productions as they take over the Lobby Lounge for an unforgettable evening, August 19th. John Lehrer's critically acclaimed dance company returns to the Sharon for a night of artistic vision on October 5th. Don't miss the best of Broadway right here in the Villages with the Broadway subscription, featuring shows like Dear Evan Hansen, Tina the Tina Turner Musical, and Hades Town, now on sale. And traditional holiday favorite, the Nutcracker Ballet, will grace the Sharon stage following the story of Clara, December 4th. You can purchase tickets to these shows online at thevillagesentertainment.com, at a physical box office location, or over the phone. That's your beat, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, Natalie. The Villages is the place to be when it comes to great musical entertainment, and these are the bands ready to perform for you on Thursday. That is all the news we have for you today. Be sure to pick up a copy of today's Daily Sun and tune your radio into WVLG while you're out there enjoying that active Villages lifestyle. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching your VNN Lifestyle News Show. You're always welcome at Cody's. Follow me right this way. It's where friends and family meet for fun times and great food. We enjoy the two-for-one happy hour from 11 to 7. We come here for the amazing nightly entertainment. Great service and loads of smiles await you at Cody's Original Roadhouse in Brownwood and Lake Sumter Landing. Plaza Lincoln in Leesburg is thrilled to introduce the all-new 24 Lincoln Nautilus. Available in gas or hybrid, with luxurious standard features such as hands-free driving, surround vision cameras, heated and ventilated seats, plus our most amazing interior ever with a staggering 48-inch display. And you can take one home today with attractive offers like financing as low as 2.9%. Because at Plaza Lincoln, our drive to be the best starts with you. Highway 441 across from the Leesburg Airport. Every 
great hometown has their favorite places where good friends gather for a great time. Just losing, dancing, no one's watching, cause we ain't stopping, yeah. And in the villages, blessed with fantastic Florida weather, our community loves to come together and experience live entertainment all year long. Today, we're excited to share more about the variety of locations to enjoy free entertainment, exclusive festivals, and showcases you won't want to miss, along with ticketed world-class venues that showcase top-tier musicians, sporting events, and spectacular shows. Entertainment is free. Venues, live music every single night for free. In the villages, you can gather with neighbors at a variety of locations throughout our community to enjoy free entertainment 365 days a year. Each location offers its own distinct character and charm, regularly showcasing live bands and talented performers in the center of vibrant shopping, dining, and recreation experiences. No matter your preference in music or style of dancing, you'll quickly find your local favorites for enjoyable moments with friends and family. In addition to year-round free entertainment, these gathering spots play host to a multitude of special events and seasonal celebrations throughout the year. So, you know, variety is a spice of life here, that's for sure. How can you not just get into the spirit of that? And people are dancing and having a great time. It's a wonderful place, and the people, wonderful people. The things to do are, are amazing. It, it's just mind-boggling. It's a grown-up wonderland of opportunities to fulfill your dreams and live out your best life. If taking in Broadway shows and attending a variety of live concerts is something that you enjoy, you'll love our state-of-the-arts performing arts centers right here in the Villages. And I've seen some really good bands from my era. It's a beautiful, beautiful theater. It's very intimate. The acoustics are great. The level of the entertainment that they're bringing in is truly remarkable. The Sharon L. Morse Performing Arts Center hosts Broadway quality entertainment ranging from concerts and comedians to dance, musicals, and operas. The Savannah Center hosts a variety of shows, musical tributes, and guest speakers. And if the sound of thundering hooves thrills you, the Village's Polo Club is the place to take in this unique and exciting sport. Whether tailgating from your golf car on the sidelines or viewing from the stadium above. It's just a phenomenal sport. It's so exciting, so fast paced. It's amazing. It's just a fun time. It's exciting. There's always something to do or somewhere to go. They get you up, they get you dancing. You're always popping your fingers, snapping your head. Yeah. Living our best lives. those of you who love to put on your dancing shoes, laugh, smile, and spend your time out enjoying live bands, a show, Just or events. Dancing, no one's watching, cause we ain't yeah. We're confident you'll find that there's something for you to enjoy across every genre of entertainment here in the villages. We invite you to let us entertain you. <laughs>